This is Mangla Juri, a bird's paradise located on the northern banks of Chilka Lake in Odisha. Mangla Juri hosts more than 3 lakh birds in its marshy waters each winter. A community owned and managed wildlife conservation venture, Mangla Juri Ecotourism provides you with an opportunity to get up and close with Mother Nature. Mangla Juri Ecotourism is a great example of how ecosystems can be converted into a sustainable source of livelihood through well managed, low impact tourism instead of exploiting them for short term profits. However, Mangla Juri was not always a safe haven for birds and not long ago was known for poaching of birds. Later during the video, I will share the interesting story of how Mangla Juri changed itself and got known as one of the best bird watching sites in India and the world. So don't forget to watch the video till the end. Chilka Lake is the largest packish water lake along the east coast of India. Spread over an area of 1,165 square kilometers, Chilka Lake is considered to be the largest lagoon in India and counted among the largest lagoons in the world. The lake is the largest wintering ground for the migratory waterfowl in the Indian subcontinent and attracts some rare, vulnerable and endangered species. Due to its rich biodiversity, in 1981, Chilka Lake was designated as a Ramsar site or a wetland of international importance. Manglajori village is one of the crown jewels of Chilka Lake that is located on the north edge of the lake in Khorda district of Orissa with a population of less than just 5,000 people. However, the village has created a name for itself among birds and nature lovers. Located around 70 kilometers from the state capital Bhubaneswar, the village is easy to reach for nature lovers and birders who arrive from across India and world to get a sight of some 3 lakh winged guests that make Mangla Jori and Chilka Lake their home each winter. However, Mangla Jori was not always a safe haven for birds and not long ago, in 1990s, the village was infamous for poaching and trade of migratory birds. The story of how the inhabitants of this village converted from poachers to protectors is not short of a Bollywood movie script. According to story shared by locals, until around 25 years back, the primary livelihood of many families in the village of Mangla Jori were reliant on killing selling and eating birds. The villagers would use nets, air guns and even poisoned fish to kill the birds. The poaching was led by a gang of 12 poachers known as the Dirty Dozen who were not willing to stop at any cost and had no remorse of killing these beautiful migratory creatures. The gang brought bad reputation to the village and people started calling Mangla Jori as a village of thieves. The problem was so rampant that even birds started sensing the danger and their count started dropping from hundreds of thousands to just 5,000 during the peak of poaching activity. According to legend, it is then that a person called Nand Kishore Pujbal from the surrounding Tangi region entered the scene and changed the destiny and reputation of Chilka. Nand Kishore had left his village in 1970s in search of work and when he decided to come back in 1990s, he witnessed the rampant problem of bird poaching in Chilka Lake and especially Mangla Jori. Nand Kishore also had a backstory as during his late teens, he was involved in killing a bird himself. As during those days, boys used to announce that they have come of age by flaunting the carcasses of birds they had shot down with their air guns. When he too shot down an egret in Chilka, it fell to the ground with a twig clutched in its mouth. The fact that the egret must have been carrying the twig to make its nest dawned on him and it created an unbearable guilt that remained in him.
When he saw the poaching activity, the guilt that he experienced during his teens got revived and he decided to act against the poaching activity. This brought him into confrontation path with the dirty dozen and he asked them to renounce their activities. Initially, there was no impact on the dirty dozen and they continued poaching activities. Nand Kishore tried to build public opinion against poaching and seeing this, the leader of the gang, Madhu Behara, threatened Bujbal with knife on his neck. That did not deter Bujbal and he said that if he wants, he can kill him but he should spare the birds as they have nowhere else to go. This exchange somehow impacted Madhu Behara and after a week, he came to Nand Kishore's house with his gang and claimed that they have renounced poaching and thrown their guns in the lake. Not completely trusting their word, Nand Kishore made them take an oath in the temple of Kalijay, a goddess who is revered in this area. The gang has kept their oath for the last 23 years. In case you are liking this video, do not forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. The day the oath was taken put Mangla Jori from a path of killing and destruction to the path of conservation. However, when poachers decided to give up their ways of killing, it created a vacuum in their lives and Nand Kishore knew that he had to fill the vacuum and give them a new purpose and a source of livelihood, otherwise there were risk that they will go back to their old ways. That's when an NGO called Wild Odisha, led by Nand Kishore, stepped in. The NGO recognized that poaching is a serious business which requires poachers to identify various migratory birds that visited Chilka Lake and understand their migratory patterns feeding habits and way of living. In short, in order to become successful poachers, they had to become experts in bird life. The NGO decided to put this knowledge of poachers to right use and conducted workshops for them to convert them into nature guides. As same knowledge that allowed them to kill birds would now come in handy to show the rich heritage of Chilka Lake and Manglajori to the bird and nature lovers of the world. In this workshop, the NGO focused on helping the guides learn English names of birds and improve their communication skills, both of which were needed by them to become good nature guides. In order to make the ecotourism efforts truly successful, an organization called Sri Mahavir Pakshi Suraksha Samiti was formed. The Samiti received tents from government agencies for them to provide accommodation to visitors. The Samiti was also provided with binoculars and it took responsibility of patrolling the Chilka Lake to stop any poaching activity in the lake. The efforts of Samiti have paid dividend and over the last two decades as a rich ecotourism ecosystem comprising of boatmen, guides and homestays have been created to cater to nature lovers who arrive at Manglajori. Birds have also sensed the change in behavior and mindset and lakhs of migratory birds again consider Chilka Lake as their winter home. The transformation in the way of living has also wiped away the tag of thieves that was once associated with the inhabitants of Manglajori and they have again restored their reputation in the society due to their conservation effort. The efforts of the Samiti has been recognized by the government and it has won several awards. The transformation of Manglajori and Chilka Lake is a lesson for conservationists across India and world and it teaches us that for a conservation effort to be successful as the one in Chilka, the local community has to be deeply engaged and passionately involved. That's the only way to conserve nature and wildlife and leave it for our future generations. And that's it folks. Hope you enjoyed this video and story of Mangla Jori. Do subscribe to my channel if you like content related to history, nature or wildlife. So you get notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.